Hey guys. Hi. We're over at Eladio's. Eladio's Bar. Yeah. This is a very famous bar. Has several uh, branches, and uh, it's typical because they have you buy you buy a beer, it's cheap, and they give you a lot of food, a Ooh, lot I'm of typical food. yeah typical food, and uh, typical dishes. You got you got them dishes. So they have as long live as you're music. you're drinking, you keep eating. No, they have, yeah, they have <laughs> live music Keep and it's very nice. Food. Take a look. It's Yanni. Yanni's out there dancing for us. <laughs> All right. We're going here where the Christmas tree's at. Check it out. <laughs> going around the Christmas tree. Oh, this is kind of the deal here. They just keep bringing you food out. We went to a place like this, similar to this, years ago. Years ago. Yeah, and they just keep bringing you food as long as you keep drinking. That sounds like my game right there. All right. Let's do it. Here's a look around in here, guys. The music's blaring, but I got my uh, external mic there close. Hopefully, you can hear me. It's funny, they got uh, Fred Durst up here with uh, Limp Biscuit playing during this uh, music. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, there we go. A little break in the action. It's pretty cool, this place. It's, like, it's got this uh, big grass roof here. I don't know how what, what that type of roof's called, but it's a very tall structure big screens everywhere everybody's uh munching down watching fred durst jam out over here listening to some uh, I mean, Tuesday, friday Spanish friday music. is a big thing friday. friday's bigger right friday saturday sunday this is crazy yeah i'm sure it's full on the weekend yep so here comes our drinks already got some beers and got some rum and coke coming i'm not much on the beer but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have me a rum and coke, eat some of this great food. We'll see how it goes. See, like I said before, they bring your drinks out, and they bring your shot glass, so you know what you're getting in your drink. The, the liquor comes separate. Everywhere I've been here so far, the liquor comes separate from your, uh, you just don't gotta get a ready-made drink brought to you which is good like I said you see what's going in there oh, here comes our first batch of food we got some little uh, little tastes here looks like a tamal yeah I don't know what that is it's like a tamal but it's made with uh, seeds Calabasa seeds. Calabasa. That kiwis. looks like some kiwis. Yeah, got some kiwis. Then it looks like some platanos. Volcanic. Very typical volcanic. You say volcano? Volcanic. Ah, little volcanoes. Alright. Alright, let's dig in. Okay, there's coming more. Oh, we got a little more bites coming in. This is hot dog. Little hot dog. Potatoes. Potatoes. Spaghetti, yeah. uh, different potatoes, chile, chile, all kinds of different this food. Is a, with, um, chile yeah. Oh yeah. See all kinds of stuff. Got some chips. Like bread. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. This is uh, Yeah. This is uh, meat. Oh, that's shredded, some meat. Shredded, shredded meat. It's a little uh, pancitos. Garlic, garlic, garlic bread. cilantro dip. Oh, very really good. I can't wait to try that. And then we got some beans, looks like. Beans, yeah. refried beans. Some refried. And last but not least. Chicken pack, hecho con pepita. This is a chicken um, pack. Chicken pack con de. Chicken pack con de. De, si. de este taí. Chicken pie. Because it's a Mayan. Yeah. So it's made with um, calabasa. Calabasa seeds. Calabasa seeds as well. 
And then there's spaghetti. I don't remember seeing that know, one. Me see. That looks like spaghetti. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got some got some uh, sanitized silverware, which is always good to have, no matter what is going on in the world. Always nice to have some clean silverware, right? All right, let's dig in. Got you a little hot doggy. That's a lot of a lot of uh, Tim Tempie here. Tim they, Tempie. They, they, they will bring something different every time you order. If you order another or an, another drink, you get more different uh, selections come out. Mm -hmm. All right, we got some little taquitos here. And what's on it? Usually, originally, it's supposed to be with turkey. Yeah. In the back, it's like a spices, typical from my hometown. Oh, okay. So this, this is a very typical, classic Yucateco dish. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, I got some habanero sauce. All right. All right, we did a pretty good job getting rid of most everything. They brought even some more things out, but we ate it. And uh, I don't, I think the hot dogs were uh, gave up on. <laughs> They're more like Vienna sausages. It's some kind of soft, but yeah, it was all pretty good. Little little uh, appetizers, just a whole bunch of them. Mercy's happy because she got all these traditional foods she hadn't had for many years. So yeah, this is a, it's a centralized spot. I'll put a, a I'll put a map up on the screen so you guys can see uh, where it's where it's located. But it's centralized in the, in the Yucatan here. We're still in the Yucatan, right? Yeah, we're not. In, yeah, we're not. We're not in uh, Quintana Roo yet. But yeah, this is one of the houses. We're going to take a look inside. If you were looking for a place in Mexico. Here in a couple years, they're going to be done. This is an ideal spot because it's right in the middle, like I said, of everything. Uh, Cancun, you're near, you're about, um, how, how far from the beach? How far, about one hour, 45 minutes? One hour. 45 minutes yeah. yeah, 45 minutes or an hour to the beach here, um, to a couple of different beaches. Holbosch is a little further away, but then you got the Colorados, that's uh, the nearest beach. Eloy's going to show us around. This is the, the family room area, yeah. the entryway here to the home. And it is beautiful. Look at this. This is the biggest model available. You come out here, you, and you, got, this, you got this sitting area outside, this patio area with a bar. You got a nice big swimming pool, nice big yard, nice, uh, nice grass, very nice. For this, we have the dining room. Yep, then the you got a, got a dining room area here. Dining room with a, with a, a, yep, little, a little half bathroom. Yeah, and we got the room over there. Yeah, okay. so the three bedrooms on this yeah. side. You go outside here. I'll show you these rooms. These are nice. This is a, a, a hacienda style. So it's, look, is, look at that, that little detail. Oh yeah, it's this beautiful. Is awesome. To the left, you have the big room. First, First room is, here. Yeah. This is a big so It's like big a room. guest room, even though it's pretty big. It's got all these built-in closets, beautiful built-ins, plenty of storage. Every room has a, a closet, a bath, yeah. and closets. Yeah, and then you got your bathroom here with yeah. the shower that's a nice uh bathroom okay Is and then the we got another guest room out here to to the left we got the master at the end here but there's another guest room it's pretty much identical to the other one right here more built-ins now this is another guest room there's another guest room, another bathroom over here, pretty much identical to the other. And then out here is the master. Let me show you the master. The master bedroom. It's a little bit bigger. And you got these sliders out to the pool area in the yard.
Instead of the built-ins here, you got a closet in the bathroom, like a master closet. Yeah, you got like a closet here before you get into the bathroom, and then you got the beautiful tub. Yep, we got a jet jet jacuzzi tub. This is so cool. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, Got a couple jets in there. Again, you got a nice window in the bathroom. I'm standing in the shower right now. Very nice. Mm-hmm. I like it. Double sinks. The details in the on the on the floor, Papi. Look. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Hacienda style, everybody. Hacienda style. Here's the kitchen. Very nice kitchen. Must be a pantry or something here in the kitchen. Oh, just so that leads outside to a little uh, area outside here. I guess you could make a little grill area or something out there if you want. All right, now Eloy's going to give us a little tour here in the Defender. <laughs> All right, let's do it. How many units are going to be in here eventually? How many units 70, are planned? 70. 70 houses. 70, 70 we're gonna, houses. We're going to put 7 departments front to the lake. Here is going to be a park. Oh, cool. We put a park here. You can be with your dogs and your... It's going to be pet friendly here. All right, that's cool. Wow! Cool. Wow. We're going down into a little cavern here. Very cool. This is a cenote. A little cenote down yeah. here, huh? It's nice. Nice and cool down here too. Very cool. So this is just going to be a little recreation area down here where everybody can come and hang out and maybe have some food and swim when they fill this full of water. Very cool. So Eloy was telling us this was, a, it's a natural cenote here, but it's dry because it collapsed on itself. So all what you see in the middle here is uh, a lot of what collapsed. And it's, they're gonna dig it out and recreate this back into what it was and get some water flow, open it up to where the water's at. Very interesting to see how that ends, ends up looking when they're done. Okay. This is gonna be the lake where we go now. It's gonna be the lake. You got a lake, okay. And up above is gonna be the units uh -huh. up in here, above this rock line. All this is gonna be underwater. Right. There's another, another big one, another big one, yeah, that looks even bigger, yeah, get it while you can guys, it's all gonna, it's all gonna be bought up soon. Get it in the beginning stages. All right, here's the entryway where we uh -huh. came in. I gotta, I gotta show you a, a, another kind of boat. All right, this is another different type. option. Another type. Yeah, we got a different setup here. This will be finished in November, the end of the month, huh? Wow. Yeah, it's looking like it's got some good progress going on here. Oh, I like the open kitchen. Yeah. Uh, the open kitchen concept here to the family room area. Yeah. Another pool, just like we saw before out here. Yep. A little outside shower. That's pretty cool. 
Pool's pretty deep too. It is deep. Yeah, it's not even. Uh, oh, the house has the same size. They're all the same. Oh, yeah. yeah, you couldn't tell how deep the other one was looking at it, but yeah, uh -huh. fairly deep pool. They all actually. Like, like this, this deep. Yeah, sure. You can actually swim. And I like the uh, built-in lounge chairs there too, at the shallow this side. This is the three habitations. Yeah. So, so bedroom one, bedroom two up here, then of course the master suite on the end. A little bit different of a concept. A lot of construction stuff here in the way, but you can kind of get the idea. And you get your master bath in here. I'm not going to even attempt to go back in there. There's so much scaffolding stuff in the way. You can smell the paint in here, I tell you that. Okay. All right, guys, here's another model he's Eloy's showing us. I like the entryway here, it's really cool. Let me give you a look from the outside here from the street. So you got your carport garage area right here. Of course, this will all be grass, I'm sure, right here. But this is another one that's not 100% complete. But let me wipe my feet. I got mud all over me from that little cenote area. See, yeah, I like this concept too. Big open area. Dining area and then the kitchen. Open here to uh, the dining area. Then you got like a fountain here in between all the bedrooms where you can come out. Very cool. And of course, they got a different model pool back here. This is total change up on the pool. Look at this out here, y'all guys. You got this open area from the family room area, kitchen, main area of the home to the bedrooms. You got all these, these bedrooms here. Hell, they've already got pillows in here ready to go. Bathroom again. So this looks like a three bedroom unit as well. Yeah. This is a little outside bathroom here. Then another bedroom. Of course, with another bath. Big bedrooms. Yeah, bathroom with shower. Yeah, I've got a shower here. And then the master over here on the other side. Take a look at this is the master, right? Yes. I'm going to take a look in the master here. Oh yeah. All the bedrooms are pretty comparable in size. They're all pretty big. Get the echo going on. Here's the tub in the center. Very cool. Shower off to the left. Got a little step up here into the tub. It looks like this little area on this wall is going to be some sort of closet built in, my guess. The double sinks. Very nice. Go out and take a look at this pool. It's a little wet out here from the fountain. Ah, we got a nice bar out here too. Ooh. A little bar with a sink. And this pool's a rectangular style pool versus the uh, the one we saw before. Big yard again. Big, nice yard. On this side, probably some showers. I'm guessing. Yeah, a little outdoor shower here. 
Nice. It'd be nice to have a barbecue out here, right? Yeah. This is the place to barbecue. It's a big patio. It is. It's a nice big patio. Beautiful. Nice looking homes, Eloy. There's some really nice looking homes here. This can be a nice community when it's finished. Yeah. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we got to our destination over here, Puerto Morelos. We have a fishing trip planned for tomorrow. It's a little dark and it got a little rainy here on us. Yeah, a little windy take, too. Take a look around. I know you can see a little bit out. I don't know which one of our boats is sitting out here for tomorrow's trip. I hope it's this big one right here. But uh, yeah, one of these boats is destined to take us out on a major fishing trip venture tomorrow. We're gonna have a great time. Yes. I plan on catching some big fish for a change. <laughs> this time is gonna be tr it's true. <laughs> this time, this time is it. We will be catching some fish. We're over here. Eloise hooked us up with his friends here on, in the beach, on the beach here. They Pelicanos. have us. If you are in Puerto Morelos, come and visit yeah. uh, Pelicanos. It has a little marina, it's a private marina. They have all this business. There's a family business. So coming here, we, we ate ceviche. Oh, we didn't, yeah. We didn't uh, blog the, the, that part, but it was delicious. It, it was, was good. The, the attention was awesome. Yeah, it started raining on us, so we, we had to let up for the, let the uh, rain let up a little bit, so we decided to break out the camera now. But yeah, we got some uh, new friends up here we met. We're having some drinks. We're gonna, call it a day here in a little bit because we got an early day tomorrow starting our fishing trip yeah but yeah it's a beautiful beautiful place here everybody i recommend it it's a little south of cancun uh north of playa de carmen it's like right in the middle uh eloy and all of his friends are up here having drinks this is his deal he comes up here and has drinks with his buddies the night before he goes out and fishes. And that's and Mike, Mike's birthday today. Actually. Oh, it is Mike's birthday, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Here's the crew up here, what's left of it. Some guys took off already, but it the started mayor raining. The mayor was here. Uh, oh, yeah, the mayor was here earlier. Oh, All right, everybody. Hey. hey. Hello, everybody. Everybody say hi to everybody. Hello, hello. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Hello. Here's, here's the gang that's left. It, it's, that's it's a birthday boy. Down. Hey, that's happy birthday, birthday boy. Happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Anyway, we're having a great time here, having some drinks with friends, new friends. New and friends. Beer. Yeah. Hey, okay. what do you Don, Don Julio, are we? Oh, Don Julio. Don yes, Julio. Don Julio. Tequila. Nice, yeah, that's some good stuff. That is the good stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, these guys are having some drinks. We're gonna go fishing tomorrow. We're gonna to have a great day fishing. I can guarantee you we're gonna catch some big fish for you. <laughs> Not like Just before in Subic tuned. Bay. Stay tuned. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna pull in some big ones. Are you looking to go fish tomorrow? I feel lucky, buddy. Okay. I feel lucky. <laughs> Eloy said somebody came in here earlier with about a five foot long barracuda. That's right. Yeah. It was a big one. So I plan on catching at least a barracuda, if not a grouper, oh, yeah. maybe some snapper for lucky, a sword or maybe a magi magi. Oh, that would be excellent. I'd love to eat that tomorrow. You will see tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Stay the day. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow on the fishing trip.